Let's turn over and have a look at example two, which is our word problem for today. So it says here that paper labels are made to wrap around the curved surface of cans of food. A one centimeter overlap is allowed at the end so the label can be glued down. Calculate the area of paper required to label each of the following cans to the nearest centimeter square. Okay, let's read that again and highlight important information. So paper labels are wrapping around the curved surface. So we're only caring about the curved surface because we're not putting labels on the top and bottom of this baked bean can because otherwise people can't open the can of baked beans. Um, we also have a one centimeter overlap. So we have an extra one centimeter of this curved paper surface. Um, we need to work out the area of paper needed to lay uh, to the can for the cans and we need to round our answer to the nearest centimeter squared okay so first let's draw a diagram i mean they've given us a diagram of the can with its dimensions so let's draw in the diagram of the net of this if we unwrapped this baked beans can what would it look like including the bit of wrapping paper so grabbing out your beautiful straight edge tool your ruler Let's first draw out the rectangle when we roll out. Oh, that's not straight. Let me do it again. A rectangle when you roll out the piece of paper. And then we've got the top and bottom circles. Okay, let's label our information. We've got that 7.4 is total distance across the circle. So that's the diameter. So let's label that in. So diameter is 7.4 centimeters for both the top and the bottom circle because it's identical circles we're told that the height of this cylinder is 10.3 centimeters now if this was our wrapping paper so we're looking at this area of interest of the rectangle so we don't care about the area of the circles. All we care about is this rectangle area. But we also have a one centimeter overlap. So technically I'm extending out an extra one centimeter on this rectangle. So this is an extra one cm over there too. So we're trying to find the total area of this shaded rectangle so because it's a rectangle we our default formula for the area of the wrapping paper is length by width so surface area is length by width because it's a rectangle um length sorry width is the height of this cylinder which is 10.3 uh, centimeters and we're multiplying by the total length of this wrapping paper with the extra one centimeter extension now remember this length normally is the curved edge is the circumference of the circle which is 2 pi r or pi d whichever one's easiest for you um, but we also have an extra one centimeter so on the side it'll help us to work out what radius is since i'm using 2 pi r so my diameter is 7.4 radius is diameter on 2 which is 7.4 halved which is 3.7 okay so the total width length of this rectangle is 2 pi r because that's the original circumference of the circle but we also have an extra one centimeter as well so make sure you put brackets around it because you're multiplying by the whole thing so putting in our radius 10.3 times 2 lots of pi lots of 3.7 plus 1 typing this into a calculator that gets us 249.75 units is centimeter squared because everything else is in centimeters um the question says around to the nearest square centimeter so let's finish off with a sentence conclusion therefore the area of paper required 
is approximately rounding to the nearest cm squared is 250 centimeters squared. Make sure you finish off with units because that's an easy half mark.